you fat hmm <laughs> this is something that really pisses me off or I should say frustrates me when I hear people say oh you shouldn't eat too much fruit because you're gonna get fat or my doctor told me that I'm not allowed to eat fruit if I'm trying to lose weight honestly it is a load of crap I've been on a vegan diet for about three months now the majority of what I eat is fruit I'm pretty much trying to do raw till four um, on a plant-based predominantly fruit diet until the afternoon when I have my cooked meal at night Honestly, I have lost weight. I've noticed more tone in my body. It's funny because I've done this as kind of an experiment for myself. Obviously, I did want to go vegan and I'm going to continue to be vegan, but mainly eating fruits. And I haven't actually been doing that much strenuous exercise. Just as a little bit of an experiment to see, you know, how my body reacts, how it takes it um, if I gain weight. Do you guys want to see the results? I'll show you. <laughs> so, this is me <laughs> so yeah <laughs> I haven't gained weight I don't actually weigh myself but I know in the feels of my clothes I haven't actually gained weight so I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about this misconception of fruit making you fat honestly it is a load of crap <laughs> um, in my personal experience in experience that I've seen in my husband as well eating predominantly fruit and like a vegan diet is not going to make you fat. Yeah, people say, oh my gosh, but there's so many calories in fruit. I've done a video previously on why I don't count calories because in my opinion, calorie counting is not a true indication of whether food is nutritious for you or not. People can say, oh, banana has 100 calories, whereas a chocolate mousse diet chocolate mousse has 100 calories well one is natural grown from the earth the other is packed full of chemicals and artificial sugar and salt and sweeteners so obviously calorie counting is not a true indication whether something is healthy for you so many people will say you know but fruits high in calories calories make you fat like calories in versus calories out will make you fat as I've said, I've done this experiment on myself. A lot of fruit I've been eating, very, very minimal exercise, and I haven't put any weight on. Um, the only way that this is really going to make you gain weight is if you overeat. And you're going to have to overeat a ton of fruit to be able to gain weight without exercising. But in saying that, I don't recommend you not to exercise because exercise is fantastic for your body. It's going to make you feel fantastic. So... If you are doing regular exercise, it doesn't have to be too strenuous and you're eating a lot of fruit, you're definitely not going to gain weight. So don't stress on that account at all. <laughs> I'm going to list a few websites and stuff that I found in the description box for you. One main one, which I absolutely love, is nutritionfacts.org. They actually have a YouTube channel as well. And it is so true. Everything that they've done, they've actually done research on it. Like plant-based diets have been shown to reduce the risk of cancer. That is the main reason why my husband and I decided to go vegan because he wanted to prevent his chance of getting prostate cancer, which is in his family. One research they did was throughout different fruits and cranberries are actually one of the main cancer fighting fruits out there. Also another um, research they did was on live cancer cells and they had women eating a plant-based diet for two weeks then they withdrew blood from these women and dipped it onto the cancer cells growing in a pastry dish and the cancer actually reduced it's amazing i know <laughs> i won't go into too much detail on i'll stick to the main topic so you guys are probably wondering like you know it has thousands of calories it's so high in sugar it's high in fructose like it's honestly it can't be healthy for you in my opinion, fruit is natural. It's found in nature. It is not processed in any way. It's not in a packet. It's not in a container. It hasn't had sugar pumped into it. It hasn't had salt pumped into it. You know, it is natural in its natural form. So like fructose is basically a simple carbohydrate and it's one of the main carbohydrates that our body needs. It's one of the main ones that our body can easily process and use for fuel. I've heard a fair bit that fructose is so bad for you and it's got such negative health effects. Whereas in fact, a study has actually shown from a university in America, I'm gonna link it in the description box below. I'm just reading it off my phone. <laughs> that in order to reach negative effects from a high fructose diet, you need to consume 350 
15 grams of fructose per day. So in order to get that much fructose, you need to have about 45 bananas, 80 cups of strawberries, 800 cherries or 26 apples. I myself do not eat that much in a day. <laughs> and that is, you'd have to exceed that every single day in order for you to have negative effects from fructose. And basically, the negative effects are not caused from the fructose, it is basically caused from overeating, which is a whole nother story on its own. So my, me, myself, if you guys have seen my what I eat in a, a day videos, I eat a lot of fruit and I have not had any health effects. I've been more vibrant. My skin has cleared up. I've had more energy. I've lost weight and just been feeling amazing. Quite a few of these studies I've found out that have done research have actually given their volunteers fructose in liquid form, like a drink with fructose in it. That is a whole different story. If they were actually to give their volunteers fruit, then the effects would not be negative. I've only got these negative results from fructose syrups and like a, a drink containing fructose, which is not natural because that has been made into a syrup form, it's been extracted from the fruit and had all sorts of chemicals done to it. That's why they've got this negative result from it. So in my opinion, having fruit in its whole form is not going to make you fat. Especially if you are such a sweet tooth like I am, I turn to fruit. I have my fruit juices and my smoothies and all my fruit throughout the day and I have not gained weight. I've just been feeling amazing. So honestly, if someone there is telling you don't eat fruit, it's going to make you fat, find out for yourself. Some people's bodies don't agree with fruit and that's fine. But you need to find out yourself. Don't take other people's words for it. Find out for yourself. Don't even take my word for it. You've got to go out there and find out for yourself and don't just do it for a few days, do it for like two weeks. Increase your fruit intake and see what results you're getting. So basically consuming 30 grams of fructose from fruit is so much different than having 30 grams of fructose coming from um, high fructose corn syrup or from a sports drink or you know something that's processed with a barcode on it. It is completely different. Um, in saying that as well it is if you are wanting to do more of a vegan based diet, it is really important to have some B12 supplements in your diet. B12 is mostly found in kind of soil and grasses and so it's mainly found in meat because the animals eat soil and grasses and that's how it gets into the liver and how it kind of gets into the meat. So I've been just taking B12 supplements like sublingual ones that you put underneath your tongue and just let dissolve and that will ensure that you're not going to be deficient in B12 or anything like that. They've also done many tests with glucose levels and things like that and it has all been the same, like it has not increased glucose levels, only artificial forms of glucose will increase your glucose levels. <laughs> As well, you're probably thinking, you know, well, canned fruit should be healthy then. In my opinion, I would steer away from anything that is canned with a barcode because it is processed, because how could natural fruit last for years in a can without having some form of preservative added to it? So that is my personal view, that's why I kind of tend to steer away from canned fruit or even those little fruit things in a packet. So yeah, that is my personal views. As I said, definitely give it a go for yourself. Don't take other people's words for it. You need to know what will work for you. It has definitely worked for me and I'm going to continue eating a lot of fruit every single day because it makes me feel fantastic and it definitely does not make you put weight on. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video. Definitely check out some of my other videos on my channel. I'll link some in the description box below and also check out my Instagram channel and all that jazz is all in the description box below for you guys. Alright, I love you all and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye!